Hey there guys and gals, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Grandia 2. This is episode 6. In the last episode, we made our way through the Baked Plains. Here's our stats, if you're wondering. We are at... Hmm, hold on, let's get the actual status thing up. Wow, the stats thing don't actually show levels. <laughs> I really thought it would. Oh, there we go. Level 17, 16, 17, so there we go. Let's get going. We've got lots of special points and stuff to spend, but I don't really want to use it right now. Look, I can see it. It's Elena. Um, please, come quickly. He's so excitable. <laughs> I just wish he was better in battle. He's a spirited one. That wasn't the word I had in mind. Suppose we should take a look. <gasps> Get ready. It really would have been nice if they updated the cinematics, because that looked stunning in the PS2 version. <laughs> so, these are the granite cliffs? A scar split in the face of the Silesian continent. I take it you haven't seen it before. <clears throat> Scripture speaks of it, yet the size. The land still aches, its wounds yet felt. The battle of good and evil, still so close. And still, after all these years, no one has come up with a better name than the battle of good and evil. <laughs> How will we make our crossing? We fly! Look over there! Aha! Uh -huh. We do fly, kinda. That's called the Skyway. We ride on that across the Granite Cliffs. The ship lands in a town not far ahead. Once we cross here, it's on your stone's throw to the St. Heim Papal State. Oh, you could all grow wings and I wouldn't have to wait for you. I, I agree. <laughs> Incredible. This is just so exciting. Don't overdo it. We're camping here tonight. Good idea. Alright. Hey, Elena. Sleeping on your feet again? Oh, no, not at all. That looks like the perfect place. When I saw those bamboo shoots, it reminded me of Kingdom Hearts when you're in the Tarzan land. And the tigers come out of... Uh, the cheetah comes out of the, the vines. The bamboo. Anyway, dinner with a view, kids. Watch your step when you go to the little girl's room. <laughs> the granite cliffs are incredible. You must see them to believe them. The world is really in a pitiful state. It sure is a hassle that the world is split in half by these granite cliffs. Now I remember. It was the Battle of Good and Evil that made these granite cliffs, right? Miss Elena, will you tell me about the Battle of Good and Evil? I don't really know very much myself, but they say long ago the people lived happily, bathed in the light of Lord Granus. Then Valmar came and tried to take the light from the people, and so began the Battle of Good and Evil. At the battle's end, Lord Granus' sword, which he raised, kept down Valmar, went right through Valmar into the earth, creating a huge fissure across the land, and that's how the granite cliffs came to be. Okay. Now that you mention Valmar, the devil of darkness, can you feel Miss Melania, Melania? Miss Elena? I can't believe it, that Valmar is inside me. People must not be caught by darkness. They will be able to live only in darkness. They will no longer feel for other people. Darkness warps a person's soul. If someone is truly caught by darkness, that person will have no future. Hmm, I guess I've no future either. It's getting shadier by the moment. For some reason I don't see sunshine and puppy dogs in the near future. <laughs> Mr. Feudo, you're neither wicked nor a dark one. Darkness is something completely different. You say darkness, I say whirling black vortex of doom. What's the difference? <laughs> I don't really understand it myself, but darkness makes people sad and lonely. I hate it. Wicked dark one, sir. I don't think there's anyone anyway who would say they love darkness. Ah, yeah, that seems about it. It's changed the icon to the sleepy one. Stop, stop it. Stay away from me. My body is melting. Stay away from me. Huh? 
What's wrong, Elena? You were screaming in your sleep. Oh, that was her. <laughs> okay. A huge tongue-like thing was coiled around me, and it was devouring me. A tongue. Shh. That's strange. It's too quiet. Hey, Rowan, wake up. Shh. Something's here. <gasps> I finally found you. I'll teach you a lesson! A lesson you'll never forget. Okay, boss time. <laughs> Against the Beast Man. Does it say his name? Oh, Beast Man. <laughs> that was a guess. Alright, so he's gonna try and go for... For Ryudo. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Right, what can we start with? Digging might be a shout. Go on then. I think she's just going to make that, so that's good. Um, next up. Low strength of a foe. That might be really good. I'm going to go for that. Oh, <laughs> well. Okay. Yeah, got him. And he's moving now, so it looks like he's just going to be going for an attack. There you go. Attack down. By two as well. That's really good. Christ, he's got it out for Ryudo, haven't he? He was aiming for him last time. Alright. Next up. I mean, you could go for digging again, but I'm not too bothered. His attack wasn't that powerful. I'm sure, I'm sure his special attack is, but, you know, we'll just go for that. Uh, impact bomb could be a shout. Oh, wow. One use. Wow. Next up. Yeah, I don't need to heal. I could try a burn. Yeah, go on. Let's, let's try burning him. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, we're going to cancel him and counter just in time. This should be a ton of damage. Yeah, look at that. If we had got wow in before that. Oh, we did. We did get wow in. Never mind. 420 on damage. Very good. I mean, the higher your combo goes up as well, the more damage you do, so... Bloody hell! Alright. What, what options have we got here? Wow, again, dig in. I feel like our defense is fine, so why, why bother? We'll just heal. Come, oh life water. <laughs> Thank you. 10 second slash again. I should get him out of using whatever move he's about to do. And burn was really good, so we'll go for that again. Ah, oh, didn't get there in time. Burn. Hey. Yeah, that should be a counter as well. No, it wasn't. We already had one counter, so maybe it don't count then. I don't know. Maybe try it. Nah, not even close. Okay, well, we'll keep going for burn. Because God knows it's working so well. 10 second slash. I need to upgrade that so it's faster, so I can know when I'm going to be able to use it, but we'll try. He might. I think he's going to get to the act bar you get before we get 10 second slash out, so this might be really good. Yeah, he did. Good. Ten it's very slash. rare you want an enemy to be faster than, <laughs> faster than you. Oh. Go on. Go for a critical. This should work out. Ah, oh, not quite. Oh, it did. It did. But he got some damage in, so that's probably not the best thing to actually happen. Alright, whatever. We'll heal up now. Burn. Okay. What should we do by here? Uh, I mean... 10 seconds left. We might as well carry on with that. It's not going to cancel anything, but it's not bad, so... Uh, Ryudo, definitely gonna have to heal him. Tensei can slash. Okay. Come, oh life-bearing water. This boss ain't too bad. When it's only one enemy, I, I don't have too many problems with bosses in games normally. Uh, I don't think my cancel is gonna gather in time. Who's he aiming for? 
Oh, of course he is. So we might as well try and get some damage in. Ah, boom. Oh, it's going to be damaging. Oh, he took us back on the bar as well. Nice, we're nearly there. I don't think we can have enough SP for another 10 second slash, so let's go for an impact bomb. We don't use that very often. No, not 10 second slash, so just attack. Here goes my impact bomb. Hey, cancelled as well. Oh, well, not it matters. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't too bad. No money out of it. That's a bit gutting. Are you? No, you oh. Not him. What? What is the meaning of this? Why do you attack me? Your smell called me. The same smell as that of the villain who destroyed my village. Mm. The smell of that scum mm. drives me crazy. I must find him. This Melfus. What? He said Melfus. Ryudo. I smell like Melfus? Is that true? You. You know Melfus. I might. I see. Your smell does not have the dank smell of death. I had forgotten myself. Hey! You! My bro- Is Melfus alive? Melfus is a demon man. Bringer of ruination. My name is Merrick. I'm sorry for attacking you. Ryudo? Demon man? Bringer of ruination? He's just a common murderer! He can't still be alive. I never thought I'd have to relive that nightmare again in such a place. What is all this? Who is this Melfis? He's... He's my brother. All right, and that's the new bit of motivation for carrying on, I suppose. Oh, every time you load the game up, it change. It changes this back to default. Don't like it. <laughs> How's our health looking? Did we? I think we got healed, or we just ended up with quite a bit of health at the end. One of the two. Anyway, let's carry on going. It's time for us to head on back down, I think. Now, I'll kill off these couple of enemies. All right, I just had three fights, so. I'll do that. Not having any issues with the enemies around you, so that's good. Even though, you know, we haven't been buying equipment very often. It's not really an issue. Ah, I knew it'd be something. 200G, good. Okay. So anyway, that was Mareg. He's... We'll be seeing him again. He wouldn't have a portrait otherwise. If, you know. Oh, we're done. We're done with the big planes. Not a bad old place. Plenty of fights. And the battles are definitely getting... A bit more difficult, but... Little League City! Sounds like something from Pokemon. Little League? Little Leaf? Something like that?
There we go. Damn it, this would otherwise be such a nice town. You mean, if this town weren't cursed by darkness, it would be a nice town? Oh, here we go. Typical JRPG style. Every town to go to. Oh my, what's the matter? Can't live here anymore. We're leaving. Leave them alone, Elena. You plan on staying in town? I advise against it. Besides, the gates won't open until tomorrow. Isn't the Skyway running? Not until tomorrow. But don't get your hopes up. They don't let people on it. Um, once, Come again? Why is it running then? <laughs> but people want it just now. For the private use of that miserable Gaiden. Maybe it's for the best. Since anyone who visits this town wants to leave as soon as possible. Hey, just forget about it. Um, if there's anything I can do. Thank you for your kind offer. But we can't stay in this town. There's nothing left for us here. Bye. You know what? Compared to the last time we were in, it's such a big contrast. Like, that was all ruins because of the monsters. This one seems to have his own problems. We don't know what it is yet. Um, but... Yeah. Hold well on. But, uh... Yeah, that's fine then. <laughs> don't worry, Miss Elena. I heard this place has... What was it? It's a delicacy around here. If I could remember the name, we could try it. I'm sure it's talked about everywhere. Alright, so we're going in, a store. That seems about it. We've got other shops as well. <laughs> that's where we came in from. Yeah, they had a giant gate. So we might as well check out these sorts of places first. I want to see the store, because we haven't spent much money. Maybe we've got tons. Oh, we've got advanced. What's in it? Counter. We've been doing that easily. Treasure icons, skills. Check out treasure icons. Yeah. Oh, in a fight, of course. <laughs> All right. Treasure icon indicates the rough probability of what monster of that monster dropping a good item. Just acting combo. Oh. <laughs> right. So it's got two bells. So it's pretty, pretty regular. I mean, bosses have this sometimes, and I guess that means they don't always drop it. But if it has three bells, does that mean certain? I don't know. More treasure icons, better the chances of a good item. Does that mean that one boss that we had? Wasn't certain to drop a the the mana egg. Even if there's no icon, chances of a good item are still not zero. Okay. <laughs> These guys were no real Healing. <laughs> if only we did get that. Opposite may also be true. It's just the more trash icons, the better chance. Yeah, it makes sense. That's all I wanted to get out of that. Uh, okay. What have we got? 38, that's a huge increase, because we didn't upgrade the last time either, so I'm going to get that. Yeah, 12 more attack. One enemy, fire base, so you can use it as an item, I guess. You could do with better equipment. Go on. I know we're spending a bit of money, but we haven't for a while, so it, it's good for me. Because that can be used as an item as well, should I get it or not? So I probably want... I'd rather save a bit of money and have the better attack at the same time. That is a lot more attack. There we go. Okay, armor net. No, let's check out the stuff first. A lot more defense. That's pretty good, but... By five? Bloody hell. Oh! I was hoping it was equipped, not by. Oh, well. We got one now. By accident. Uh, regional stuff... All the sorts of damage and stuff and all that. No, I don't want any of that. I never do. Right, okay, so we've got Guardian Robe. 20 defense. That's his best option. Weirdos. Not that. Plate mailers. Iron Helm. I don't feel like I really want to buy any of them right now. How much would it affect him? Only four more. I'm not too bothered about that. We're doing okay in fights anyway, just with heal magic. Right, tell you what. I think I should probably get one or two of these. Poison resistance as well is always nice. Go on, I'll do. And we'll save the rest of the money. But what we could do is sell some crap. Adventure suit is better for him. Okay, we'll equip that then. Get rid of all this shit. But that's better for... 
We won't need these again, so why not get rid? Uh, attack items. No, that'll do for now. There's more we could probably sell in the accessories, but I'll do for now. Let's equip him. I've already equipped the better stuff anyway, mate. But I did get that guardian thingy. Gauntlet, that's what I was thinking of. A lot more defense. But I think it should go to you. He's getting poison resistance from his armor right now anyway, or his, his equipment. So he might as well have a bit of that. There we go. I feel like that was a good shop. Good bit of shopping. Right, what's wrong here? I'm just mashing A and everything, so you never know what's going to be examinable. Because it's not like Final Fantasy 9 where it gives you the exclamation mark. It's just randomly able to select things. Yeah. Should say the night? Uh, yeah, why not? We were told to. The only thing we've got to eat is Avon root. Still want to stay? Whatever, just serve it up quick. I'm hungry. That's it. The delicacy I forgot to try last time. Boy, are we lucky. <laughs> yeah, the delicacy. Anyway, that's what we got. Take it or leave it. Quite a sales pitch. How about it? Yeah, might as well have it if it's all they got anyway. Come on, let's try that stuff. Rowan calls it the delicacy. Come on then, Rome. What have we got? Ugh. <laughs> How can this be a famous local delicacy? This must be an acquired taste. Mm. People really eat this. It has the oddest texture. This can't be edible. It's like eating sand. It's awful. I'd rather eat dirt. It feels so rough in my mouth. Are you sure this is even edible? I've never had such mushy food. How can people even eat this stuff? It seems to be the worst of everything. Uh, I think I'll abstain from meals from here on out. Can we get on the Skyway soon, please? <laughs> Okay. I've been thinking we ought to go see this Gaten guy tomorrow. Let's go shake him up a bit. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> I love the sleep music in this game. Okay, let's save. Alright, so I think we've made a fair bit of progress today. We've done a boss, we've met a few characters, had a few cinematics. It's been, been a decent day. And now we're in Lilig Inn. So, I know things off here. And tomorrow, or next time, we're going to go and see Gaiden. So this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit.